Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. In today's video we are going to discuss how to format advanced PDF templates calculated fields and also remove the currency symbol from the exchange rates field value on NetSuite. So to begin with I assume that you already know how to play around with uh, PDF forms. So you will need to go to customization forms advanced PDF template uh, you'll select your PDF template. Here uh, we are on this, the default one. And let's say uh, the customer requires you to add uh, two new lines to their total uh, section. So you will select the lines, you'll right click on it, you'll go line, insert after. And maybe you'll do it again. Okay, the first uh, part is the text of what we are going to be uh, inserting on this field. So let's say this is the VAT in local currency, for example. And the second one is going to be the uh, exchange rate, the currency exchange rate. Now the problem we have is the VAT in local currency is the total tax amount multiplied by the exchange rate. So it's a calculated field. And the exchange rate itself, we're having problems with it because we're seeing a currency symbol, which is the dollar, within it. So how do we get rid of this currency exchange rate? And also, how do we set the currency exchange rate to be only, let's say, two decimal places instead of 20, for example? Uh, all of this is what we're going to talk about right now. So let's begin. We're going to have to enter a field here, which is going to be the tax total uh, here. So I'm going to click on plus and I'm going to look for tax total. Yes. Click on that. You see it's already uh, been entered here. So that's fine. We can remove this. Now the second one is the exchange rate. So we're going to click on the box we want to put the field in and we're going to look for it on NetSuite and it's going to be called exchange rate. Okay, we click on it and it's already there. Fine. Now you're going to tell me, okay, well, this is where we're getting the problem. You know, there's too many decimals here and it's showing you a weird currency symbol. Uh, or maybe the tax total is a calculated field, but the only thing I did here is enter the tax total again, so it doesn't make much sense. Uh, but don't worry, we're going to look into this right away. So if we click on the source code now, and we scroll all the way down to the total fields, you're going to see the fields that we just created uh, at the line uh, 253, 253, and 258. Now, the first is a text that's, uh, that we set, and the second one is the record from NetSuite. Now, what you want is you want to create a calculation here. You want to multiply the tax total by the exchange rate, right? So these are the formulas you need. I'm going to show them to you. And just uh, use these on your PDF templates. What we're saying is within these parentheses, we're putting the formula itself. So the record tax total multiplied by the exchange rate. We close the bracket, we query it as a string, and we're saying that it's got uh, commas as thousand separators. It's got a decimal as a decimal separator. It's got only two decimals, and you should be good. Now, how to get rid of the uh, dollar sign within the currency exchange rate, you're going to have to set this formula, record exchange rate, which is the field from NetSuite, question mark, HTML. You're going to be modifying it using HTML, and then the code is replace the dollar sign with nothing. Of course, you can always uh, go a step further and change the, the number of decimals using the above formula. Now, uh, once this is done, don't forget to save your script and then you can test it on your transaction. Now, if you don't see anything that you just did, just don't forget to update your transaction form with the correct PDF layout that you're using. If you forget to do this, you can change the PDF the transaction form as many times as you want. 
you are not going to see a difference because the original transaction form is still attached to the original PDF template. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, don't forget to leave a like or subscribe, and I will see you on the next video.